to those people who are joining us today. Um, I'm Lisa. I'm founder of the Wentworth Collective. And um, oh, we've got some more people coming on now. Um, I'm founder of the Wentworth Collective. We're an event management consultancy and we specialise in putting on exceptional experiences for our clients. Um, and we do that through our collective of individuals who work with us um, to create these experiences for our clients that last far longer than the event itself. Um, I've been in the event management world for over 25 years and um, through that time I've met some wonderful people. And one of these people that I've met is Ella. And um, I met her a, you know, a year ago um, at an event. But I think um, before we start, Ella, should we start with a uniting, a united breath? A united focus on the breath, Lisa. I think that's an excellent idea. So I'm just going to invite you to just close your eyes and just place a gentle focus on your breathing. Don't try and change anything. Just notice what's happening with your breath. Is your breath deep? Does it feel shallow? Is there any tightness as you're breathing? Where do you notice your breath? Is it in your lower belly? Is it throughout your belly or perhaps in your mid belly? Can you notice it more in your chest? Or does it feel quite even and it's flowing quite easily? So just taking a few more moments to really become aware of what's happening with your breath right now, right here. And then just gently opening your eyes. Oh, that was lovely. Absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank That's you. brilliant. Um, I'm just going to change this. In here. Um, so we're here with Ella, um, who's a transformational breath um, facilitator. And um, as I said before, I met Ella last year um, <clears throat> at an event at the Natural History Museum. It was um, an event under the moon where um, they had an evening of Reiki drumming and breath work. And I've always been fascinated um, by breath work and I've always liked Reiki, but never seen them both together. And to have an evening um, like that was absolutely exceptional. And I really, really enjoyed it because I personally have been on a wellness journey. And when I came away transformed, um, I thought, well, how can I bring this into my clients? And that year I was running an event for one of my um, clients. It was a reward and recognition program. And the theme of the event was to rise up to the occasion and to enjoy new experiences. And um, it was a sensory event. And we had um, touch and we had sight and we had um taste but we didn't have sound and that's when i knew actually um ella's work would be absolutely perfect to complement this experience and i think if i quote someone who when they left they says um it brought my inner self out where i learned to let the bad energy go and intake on positivity it became legendary didn't it everyone absolutely loved it. It they really really enjoyed it but um before I, I, you know, I go on, let's, you know, Ella, thank you so much for joining us. Um, transformational breath is quite a recent strand to wellness. Um, you know, we're going to really, really explore it. But firstly, let's start with how your journey into wellness began, building up to where, you know, when you started to where you are now. Okay, thanks, Lisa. So um, I just want to say thank you for having me. It's really important to just put that out there because you're doing some amazing stuff. Um, through the lockdown period, um, putting these talks on. So I'm glad to be here. Thank you. So, so my wellness journey, um, as we kind of meant, had a chat about the other day, was from as young as I can remember. I'm one of these super 
fortunate people who had a dad who was just into yoga and he used to practice breath work and I remember maybe being four years old and him saying to me can you do this yoga position we're going to breathe like this and this is how we meditate so this was something that I was introduced in a really informal way from a very young age. Um, and I have to do the little plug for my dad because he's 91 in July. Mm -hmm. And he just, you know, he he still practices breath work himself. And I've done some transformational breath with him as well. And I really, truly believe that his um, openness to wellness has helped him stay well for so long. And then I've so I've had yoga in and out of my life since that kind of time where I focused on it more sometimes um, because of whatever was happening and what I was experiencing. And then I'd say as a consistent thing, probably from about 2007, 2008, when I started practicing Reiki on a regular basis, um, and then meditation and yoga became part of my kind of day-to-day -day life. I had a yoga studio in... 2013 so I had a yoga studio for a while and that was actually where I came across transformational breath for myself um but the breath work for me transformational breath so even as part of yoga it was always something I connected with as you mentioned yourself but transformational breath for me became something really super important when it helped me to overcome anxiety and panic mm -hmm. attacks yeah, so that is a big thing. And I think more and more people are having anxiety as part of their experience. So it, it, it's a thing like my kids, um, my youngest daughter, she's going to be 16. And her friends talk about anxiety. And I don't remember that being a thing when we were growing yeah. up. But it's it's just become more and more a part of how we live because life has developed and changed um, and the pace at which we live has also ref been reflected in how we experience life. So for me, the huge thing was overcoming anxiety, panic attacks with my breath. And that was like a big um, defining moment for me. But I would say, yeah, my wellness journey has been up and down from a very young age, but a big thing I don't know how many years ago that was. 12 years ago. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. Well, we've got a lot to cover in a short amount of time, and we want to answer as many questions as possible. Um, what we do know is that the landscape of, you know, wellness and mindfulness has been more and more accessible, especially, you know, during lockdown. And I think I read a, a you know, a stat um, the other day that we breathe more than 25,000 times, you know, a day. And we do that subconsciously without thinking, you know, why is breathing so important? You know, what are the benefits? What are the fundamentals of breathing? You know, why is it a thing? Okay. And I love that you um, swatted up on those stats. That's really, <laughs> that's really cool. So breathing is a thing, like I want to say, one of the most important things to note about our breathing is it's the mind-body connection. So how we feel physically, mentally, and emotionally will affect how we breathe. And the way we breathe will also affect how we feel physically, mentally, and emotionally. So it's, as you mentioned, it's the, the only, uh, it's a subconscious act, but it's the only part of our autonomic nervous system that we actually have an effect over and we can change our experience with. So again, that's another clue as to how important it is in our life experience. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's the only ongoing relationship that we have, Lisa, from the moment that we're born till we take our last breath, literally. It's the only thing that punctuates our whole entire life. So in terms of how it affects our physical experience, just on that level alone, we can go without food, we can go without water, but we restrict our breathing or stop our breathing for a period of time. That's it. You know, mm -hmm. there will that you know game over so when we understand how fundamentally interlinked it is to our experience then we can understand why it is a thing and why it's yeah. important so you can change your physical mental and emotional state by just taking a few moments to focus on your breath and there is nothing else in our experience that has 
such um, an immediate and profound effect. So, and, and why is that? What, what is it about breathing that that has you know why why is it so important? Like, is it because you know we can't focus on anything else, or is it you know how it runs? You know, the oxygen runs through our body. Why is it so such an important part to manage and um, have control of? So you've you've hit the nail on the head. So when you are focusing on your breathing in that moment in time, your mind can't be anywhere else. So when we're talking about like lockdown specifically, or just, you know, let's not even talk about lockdown, just day to day life. So we have so many things that we're trying to do. We've got a to do list that's always running, we've got to be in a million different places at once. The pace of life is quite hectic. And that affects our thoughts which affects how we're breathing, and that has an effect on how our body functions. So um, the sympathetic nervous system is something that we trigger in ourselves. We're the only species that can trigger the sympathetic nervous response, which is the fight, freeze, or flight response by a thought alone. And our thoughts, when they're running quickly, send us into a, a space of anxiety or fear or worry. Now, using our breath, we can change that experience in our body. So it has a physiological effect. So just noticing. So at the beginning, becoming aware of our breath and noticing how it moves gives us the power to change it and therefore change our experience. Mm. So and many of us don't pay any attention to our breath unless we experience challenges or difficulties. So be, be, building an awareness of our breath is empowering because then it means that we can check in and say hang on a minute my you know i'm not breathing very deeply or my breath feels constricted in my chest for example and then you can then you will most likely notice that you're not present your thoughts are somewhere else yeah so then you have the power to stop change how you're breathing so just three deep breaths starts a physiological chain reaction in the system that allows you to be focused in the moment that allows you to be feel present feel connected to what you're doing perhaps have a sense of a more um physical presence in the moment and then from there the choices that you make or the actions that you take become more empowered. Mm. So that's one of the reasons why, you know, it's, it, it's an amazing thing to be able to be connected with your breath. Yeah. And I mean, I, I can only touch on it lightly, but, you know, I mentioned the Chicago Bulls and how they used it in their mm. techniques. Um, I loved the, I made it no secret, I love the last dance. And it would be remiss of me to discuss the current climate. You know, we've mentioned before about um, the anxiety that people are feeling at the moment, fearful of change. And I think you mentioned before how, you know, introducing a breathing technique can help. Are there any, you know, and how it can manage it in the body. Is there anything else that you wanted to add to that from what you've just said? Um, yeah, I mean, when we, if we bring it to like a more relevant things about what's going on currently, we have so many um, unknowns that we're experiencing. So people are becoming more fearful of the changes, not knowing what's coming next. So many people's lives have literally been turned upside down. And whilst um, this is something that you can't immediately change with your breath, changing how you respond to the unknown and changing how you respond to these feelings is something that you can do with your breath. And it also becomes very powerful because when we look at um, our bodies, if for example, we're in a prolonged state of stress or fear or worry, that has a knock on effect on our immune system. Now with all the, um, the COVID-19 that's happening at the moment, one of the things that we want to be able to do is stay as well as we can yeah. during this time. So another way that connecting with your breath and having a conscious breathwork practice or um, consciously working with your breath, it also helps to boost your immune system. So that's something that's really important, mm -hmm. because, you know, and, and, and it's something that's so simple. We, we've got it with us all the time. You don't have to go and do anything that complicated. And it has a really boosting effect on our physical experience mm -hmm. and how we feel. And we, we've mentioned that's because there's so much stuff online that's available. Sometimes we can get like fatigue, Zoom fatigue. Yeah. If we're 
working online constantly and we could have really long days and we're connecting with our family online as well, friends and so on. It's a really great way to help us to um, break up the day, break up those experiences, refocus, recenter, and also to build a connection. So even though you're not physically in the same place together, by breathing online with somebody that you're in a group with, you can harmonize like the energies, if you like, yeah. and create that um, connection even though we're not together. So these are just some of the ways that breathing is just amazing. Amazing. So just tell me briefly about um, transformational breath. Um, what's the difference, you know, we've spoke about other techniques so far, you know, we've got, you know, box breathing and we've got pranayama breathing. Um, what's the difference to transformational breath work okay so if i start by just mentioning some of like the the breath works that people may have heard of so we've got your classical breath work techniques that are in yoga and ancient practices like tai chi qigong um and they all have breath work as their foundation um, and these have informed some of the other breathworks that people may have heard of. So the Navy Seals, for example, the box breathing is based on classical pranayama breathing. Um, and Wim, people like Wim Hof, who I, I've, I've got to make a confession, I do have a crush on Wim Hof. <laughs> I mean, he's an absolute loony dream, but I love him. So these are breathwork practices which are specifically focused on moving the energy that we get from our breath around the body for a particular outcome. So um, some, for example, something like called Kabbalah Bharti, which is actually a Kriya, but it's a type of breathwork that you practice in yoga, is specifically for cleansing the system. Mm -hmm. And then you've got things like alternate nostril breathing or Nadi Shodhana, which is to balance the intake and ex, um, exhalation of air through the nostrils and balance the hemispheres of the brain. So they have very specific um, outcomes and the way that we use them. Now, when we compare that with transformational breath, transformational breath is a conscious breath work. So it's a more modern form of breath work. And the aims of transformational breath work on a mental, emotional um, and physical level and they are about on a physical level for example extending our experience of of breathing on a day-to-day -day basis so accessing more of our respiratory potential we get most of the energy into our system via breathing and detoxification happens via our breath as well mm. so if we can breathe more efficiently then we will have more energy our, the systems of our body will work better we can ensure that we're not in the stress response in day-to-day -day life. So that's what we're doing like in a nutshell on a physical level. Now, when we look at how um, we breathe, so we've all got a unique breathing pattern. And this is one of the things that transformational breath is really, spe is really special about transformational breath because we can read somebody's breathing pattern and we can then explain through reading a breathing pattern how they are interacting with life how they are experiencing life so where your breath is or isn't in your system how it moves if there are any restrictions or little holding patterns that you have explains how you interact with the life force so on a mental and emotional level with transformational breath we are looking at integration of suppressed and repressed experiences and emotions that we have in life so you know our our subconscious mind is the one that drives our thoughts actions and behaviors yet it's really difficult to access that consciously mm. but with transformational breath we open up a space to allow us to experience these repressed and suppressed um, experiences to integrate them and the, the, the magic about the integration is it allows us then to um, remove the effect of the past on our present experience, which is kind of special. Yeah. Um, and, and I think it's 
the reason that it's, it's also like super sweet, that's such a sweet point is we don't necessarily have to know what it is or talk about what it is that we're accessing for it to work um, and for us to feel the difference in day-to-day -day life. Um, and then the third level is that deeper connection with self, that deeper connection with all others, mm -hmm. uh, nature and sentient beings. And I think sometimes, especially with the pace of life and the way that, that society is moved, we can find ourselves feeling a bit disconnected. So being able to reestablish and um, reinforce that connection, it also becomes really special. So that's how transformational breath differs from these other breath, breath practices. And also I need to say, this is very important. It's the only type of conscious breath work that actually changes your resting breathing pattern. So. It, it, it actually helps correct dysfunctional breathing, which is a okay. big, big piece. Yes, a big, big Amazing. piece of dysfunctional breath. Well, I think it all sounds fascinating. I think we should, should we get stuck in and should we practice transformational breath work? Okay, so we're going to do a little part of transformational breath. This so We're going to focus on the connected breath. Amazing. I'm looking so, forward to it. Yeah, this is, this is juicy stuff. So... I I'm inviting you, whoever's watching this now, to just find a comfortable space. So if you want to lie down and it feels good, you've got a space to lie down, then just taking a moment to set yourself up in your space. Having some cushions and pillows to support you. And then just gently closing your eyes. So we're going to move through this in stages. And first, I want you to establish the points of connection between your body and your support. And just gently bringing your attention to your breath. Your head is relaxed. Your neck and shoulders are relaxed. And your back is relaxed. You're going to start breathing a little bit deeper, focusing on your lower belly, allowing your belly to be loose and feeling your belly rise on the inhale and just relax and let go on the exhale. Rising on the inhale and relaxing and letting go on the exhale. And now we're going to open our mouths and start breathing in and out of our mouths. So this can feel a little bit unnatural, a little bit counterintuitive, but just noticing if you have any resistance to it and just allowing it to be there. This isn't a fight. It's an exercise in awareness and connection. So allowing your mouth and your jaw to be quite loose, mouth is open and relaxed and you're breathing in and out of your mouth. And now we're going to gently extend the inhales. So we're going to take a, a longer breath in and then the exhale is going to be short and relaxed. So breathing into a count of three and exhaling to a count of one. You don't have to get rid of all the air on your exhale. The exhale is about surrendering and letting go of the inhale. So long on the inhale and just letting the exhale go. And keep going with that. And now you're gently going to connect your breath. So keeping it longer on the inhale and a shorter relaxed exhale. And the breath is connected. And you might notice some sensations in your body and this is all normal, this is all welcome. Just keeping your attention focused on your breath. Your breath is open, your breath is easy. 
long on the inhale and a short relaxed exhale. Keeping your focus on that lower belly, allowing your belly to be open and easy with every inhale and just relaxing and letting go with every exhale. just continuing for a couple more rounds, paying attention to what's happening in your body and welcoming all sensations, all feedback. And now we're going to breathe in and out of the nose. And just noticing how your body feels. And then taking a big breath in and hold your breath. And then just sigh it out. And again, a big breath in and hold. And let it go. And one more time, a big breath in and hold. And let it go. And then gently blinking open your eyes. How are you doing, Lisa? That was lovely. That was gorgeous. Okay. I mean, I'll open it out to the audience, whoever's there. Um, just post a comment in the chat and you know, let us know how you're feeling, how it compared to the breath at the beginning of the session. Um, that was wonderful. So just talk us through what that meant, how that feeling meant, like the diff, you know, to breathe through the mouth is slightly different to what we've done before. And also the long inhale to the exhale. So just talk me through the difference there. Okay, so the reason that we breathe in and out of the mouth with transformational breath is it because we get the biggest volume of air into the yeah. system. Um, and part of the way that transformational breath allows us to integrate the suppressed material is about energy. So oxygen is a very high vibrational frequency. And when we introduce a lot of high frequency into the system, it allows us to find places where this, the energy is blocked and not moving as well. And that allows us to basically root out the lower frequency energies that, that's trapped in our system. And that can be through emotions, um, through subconscious experiences. So by doing that and breathing in that way, we can then change the energy in our system and raise the vibration of the energy that we have throughout our whole body. And this is like, I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible in the explanation. And there's, you know, there's layers to it. Yeah. Um, and then connecting our breath is also about reinforcing that uh, the, the high frequency that we're introducing into the system and raising our energy overall through the practice. The reason we have a longer inhale and a shorter exhale is because if we are equating our breath as our life force, our life energy. So when we take a big breath in, we're saying yes to life. We're saying yes to the, you know, all the positive experiences in life, the breadth of experience in life, um, the enjoyment in life interaction with life and then the short exhale is about trusting and surrendering that everything that needs to happen will happen exactly as we need it to and that's something that a lot of us can find quite challenging because we are under the illusion that we control everything we know that if we do things this way we're going to get this outcome but of course life isn't like that 
Yeah. So this this interaction and this like this invitation to breathe in this way and to get comfortable with breathing in this way allows us over a period of time to start reframing how we interact with and experience life as well um, and and I think it's one of the things to say about transformational breath also is every little aspect of how we breathe has a correlation to how we show up in life so for example if you found it challenging to connect your breath there were pauses either at the beginning of your inhale or the end of your inhale before you um, exhale, that has a slightly different meaning. So, you know, all these little intricacies of our breath come through both when we're observing our usual breathing, but also when we start to breathe in this conscious mm -hmm. and connected way. So that's like a basic reason yeah. why we do it that way. Um, and, and when we start breathing in this way, we can get kind of feedback in our body as well so you might get um like tingling you might get um a sensation of feeling dizzy uh which well people might describe it as feeling dizzy but it's like a lightheadedness um you might feel a uh, vibration in your body as well all kinds of physical feedback may happen even from like a short little practice because we're introducing a whole lot more energy into the system yeah. And I, think I experienced that myself when um, I was at the Natural History Museum. It was really cleansing for me. And I had this um, strange feeling, you know, I had this, <laughs> I don't know, it's probably not nice to say, but, you know, I had this, like, smell that was following me for about three days. But actually, it was cleansing it out of my system. It was detoxifying. Um, so after this, how, we mentioned the tingling. So, you know, after a transformational breath session, what should people do? Um, rest drink water yes both of those things and just be really gentle um try and avoid caffeine and alcohol yeah. your system's really kind of open and you are in a cleansing process um and it's also important to just be aware of what comes up because sometimes like for example you said you noticed the smell and that was how your body reacted and yeah. you get all kinds of feedback in your body um after a session um, emotions may be heightened for for a time after the session as well. And these are things that are not to be frightened of because they come because we're ready to release them and they come with information. So if we pay attention to them, then we can actually use them to our advantage to help us move forward. So it's just about increasing your awareness mm -hmm. around what happens afterwards. Well, should we do another breath now? Should we do another relaxing breath? Yes. That, I, love, I love the sound of that, Lisa. So. Yeah. Right. This one is really simple um, and it's about just relaxing and slowing down the nervous system and calming the body down. We're going to breathe in and out of our nose and you can play around with this. So I'm going to suggest um, a four breath in and a six to eight breath out. But if that doesn't feel comfortable for you, then adjust the counts that you use but just making sure the exhale is at least two counts longer than the inhale, okay? So just gently closing your eyes. Just feeling connected to your support. So if you're sitting down, connecting your sit bones to the chair or the floor. If you're lying down, feeling the connection between the points of your body and the support you are lying on. And just gently placing your attention on your breath. And we're going to start counting the inhales. So we're going to breathe into the count of one, two, three, four, and then exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Breathe in two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four, five, six, breathe in, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four, five, 
six, breathe in, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, five, six, breathe in, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, five, six, and a couple more times, breathe in, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, five, six, breathe in, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, five, six, and just releasing that practice and noticing how your body feels. Noticing how your shoulders feel, your neck feels. How do you feel in your mind? And then just taking a big breath in and sigh it out. And then gently blinking open your eyes. Oh, that was lovely. And so different to the breath before. Yes. And and this is the this is the the magic of breath work. There are infinite ways that you can connect with and use your breath and have different experiences in your body. So, you know, the more you experiment and play around with it and create awareness, the better it is because you'll know which thing to just pull out of your toolbox yeah. at which moment in time, you know, just to help you. And 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 these are things that you can do anywhere. You don't yeah. need any equipment, you don't need to um you know, carry around a yoga mat, for example, you could be in a meeting, connecting with your breath, changing how you breathe to change your physical, mental and emotional experience. And that's what I love it, Lisa. <laughs> oh, it's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Well, I mean, we're probably going to close now. Um, and, you know, we're going to be preparing some information for people to find out more. So thank you for everyone for joining us. Thank you if you joined us on the replay as well. Um, where can people find out more, Ella? Okay, so like you can catch me on my social. So on Instagram, it's the Ella O. On Facebook, it's Ella O. Um, you can reach out to there's like there's so many different ways that you can reach out for people who um, to do breath work. So if you wanted to specifically to look um, and find out about transformational breath, if you look for an online certified transformational breath facilitator, because um, in this current climate, we're not seeing people face to face, but you can have sessions online. Um, there are many different things that you can explore. So I mentioned like Wim Hof, he's got a free app that you can go and download and connect with and try some of his stuff. There's different things going on on YouTube as well that you can connect in. Literally, if you once you start the the investigation of breathwork, it opens up a whole new yeah. world. And so I. You know, and I encourage people to be curious, get out there and, mm. and see what's out there because there's lots of different things that may resonate with you differently. Yeah, that's brilliant. That's brilliant. Um, well, unless anyone's got any questions, I might wait to see if anyone's got a question. Give it a moment or so. I wonder if you can hear my, I've got a little, I've got some people accompanying me in the background. It's, it's, it's the girls, I can hear them. Can you hear them? <laughs> I can hear them a little bit. <laughs> It didn't take away from the experience. Um, well, just before we close, then um, Ella, should we um, should we close on one final breath, just to this in is, a ritual type way close the session? I love that. That's a great idea, Lisa. And this is something that's super simple, and you can do anywhere. So, just closing your eyes and placing your hands on your lower belly. And we're just going to take some deeper breaths and relax into our bodies as we do this. So taking a big breath in and then allowing it to fall away. 
So you're breathing in and out through your nose, and allowing your belly to be loose, allowing it to move and expand outwards on the inhale, and then just gently fall away on the exhale. And as you continue to do this, making sure to relax your shoulders and noticing if you're engaging your shoulders when you breathe, trying to let them go. So it's all about the belly. The belly is the powerhouse in this breath. So again, just breathing in for as many counts as you can, long on the inhale. And then gently exhaling, no forcing, no pushing, just allowing your exhale to fall away. And that attention is on those hands on your lower belly and trying to feel some movement there as you breathe in and breathe out. So we're going to take three more of those deeper, fuller breaths. And when you finished your last breath, just gently blinking open your eyes. Lovely. How Thank does that you. feel, Lisa? How does that feel in your body? Wonderful. So relaxed and so accessible. I absolutely loved it. And I want to say thank you so much, Ella, for your time. Um, Really, really, really appreciate it. I hope everyone who's watching has really, really enjoyed it. You can access it. Um, you can think about bringing it into your organizations. As I say, it was so successful when we worked together um, to the point that it became legendary because we couldn't photograph it. So everyone loved it. It was just brilliant. And um, and that's why I'm sharing it with the world because um, it's all part of our collective thinking in that, you know, together we're stronger and that, you know, we can bring that and share that with the world. So thank you so much, Ella. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much, Lisa, for having me and also for being such a, a pioneer yourself in um, thinking about bringing these things to a wider audience. I really, really appreciate it. And I've loved being here. Pleasure, darling. Pleasure. <laughs> Thank you. Wonderful. Yeah. Take care. I do.